This is the DoD Envelope Filter 440, a very inexpensive funk machine, mostly for guitar. So let's find out if you can also use it on bass. <laughs> Welcome to Base the World. My name is Gregor Fries and on Base we have my buddy Lars Lehmann today. The envelope 440 is a very simple or let's call it uncomplicated design. But it has a very unique sound. It's an envelope filter with its own character. <laughs> To be totally honest, we used a bit of trickery to record these sounds. The 440 does not have a mix control, which is almost an essential feature for bass players. The two sound samples that you've just heard were a mix of the 440 with a direct signal that we grabbed before the bass went into the pedal by using one of those Lele P-splits. And of course, afterwards, I mixed these two channels together. But now, let's hear the pedal on its own. <laughs> Just for comparison, let's hear a similar sound again and this time with the envelope filter and the direct channel combined. <laughs> As you can hear, there's a lot more bass coming through. I don't want to say the 440 is useless on its own, but obviously it benefits a lot from being used like this. And now let's have a quick look at the controls. Of which we only have three, very lovely. Level on the left is your master volume and range on the right lets you set the frequency range you want the 440 to work at. In between sits the voice switch, which chooses which part of the filter sweep you want to emphasize. I think the funkiest sounds are in the upper half of the range control. But now let's turn it all the way down, add a little bit of distortion and since we're already going a little bit crazy, why not also add an 8 string bass? Let's do it. <laughs> That was fun. And that's also my conclusion for this video. So is it perfect? No. But would I recommend buying it? Only if it's not your first envelope filter. But is it fun? Hell yes. <laughs> And that's the envelope filter 440 from DoD. Maybe we should lobby for them to bring in the FX25 B back, which is discontinued, but it had a blend control and sounds absolutely amazing on bass. This pedal here is fun, but it also has some obvious flaws, at least for us bass players. But it also doesn't cost that much, so it's fine. And that's it from me today. Thanks for watching and see you again soon with another bass video here on Bass the World. Or just watch this one. I mean, it, it, it's right here. Just watch it. Bye! Bass the World.